Lee, uh, an interesting 80 minutes of rugby league there, but a massive, massive win for you in the Hull FC. Game. Yeah, huge, and um, you know, plenty of controversy in there. I thought there was some really tidy football played. Um, I thought, you know, how we were, I went about our business in that second period was really impressive. So, you know, over the moon with the result. Um, you know, we, we set out at the beginning of the year to make the eight. Obviously, we're doing that with a round to go. Is, um, make my sleep, sleep, you know, my nights a little bit sleep easy, so to say. Um, but yeah, really pleased and um, some of the performances I thought was, you know, really, really top draw tonight. The way you reshuffled as well must have really, really impressed you. You know, the, the confidence with which you, you shuffled the pack there and, and, and met the challenges of losing Gareth Ellis and Liam Price. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, Rich played last week, Richard White in the back row and um, you know, put in an unbelievable performance. So to, to jump him straight in there, there's no dramas. He's um, you know, an accomplished Super League player and he's been at the top end of his game now for a long time. And, um, you know, special mention to Jordan. I thought he came on and showed some real composure in that position. Um, you know, unbelievably scary stage for him, but one I'm, I'm really proud of. He's a local kid, come pro system, and uh, you know, he's going to be in a black and white jersey for a long time to come. So yeah, I've got some wind in your sails, so to speak, going into this this uh, the, the, the business end of the season, I suppose. So you're going to have some confidence. Definitely, definitely. We, we showed that tonight. Uh, we run at pump at times, and we just defended for each other, and we. When we got his opportunity, we scored him. Uh, I thought, I thought the lads were awesome tonight. I, thought, I actually did. I thought, uh, I thought Stephen Michaels did a great job, and Tommy Lynham did a, another great job. We've got, we've got his outside backs what are working hard in getting us middles in front of the ball. So, uh, yeah, now it's all about this top eight. Spoken about the confidence, the players at the end there, and the fans. Here, uh, was it was that a real release of a bit of pressure in recent weeks? Yeah, you know, we, we got together in November last year, and from day one. You know, the target was the top eight. Um, everything we've done every, every day, I mention it. Um, so to, to, to achieve that is a, a real plus for us. And like I said, you know, we're going into it in decent form. Um, we're going into it almost injury free. So, you know, who knows? This stage, do you spare a thought for your, your city rivals there who failed to meet in that top eight? Or? No, not, not one bit. Um, you know, we're looking at next week, uh, Wigan. Uh, spare a thought for Wigan. We, we knew that. We knew that second half when we walked in there that we had we had some we had something else to give. Uh, we stuck stepped up a gear and the one try with well, that second half one try and must have been good to watch on on TV because that were end to end stuff. Uh, one, one minute we nearly scored and then the next minute they were nearly scoring. So credit to both sides and like I say we're just happy to be in that top eight now and you never know what can happen there. I thought for for long periods we were second best in in too many departments. You know. I'd, we were good for the first 25 minutes. I thought we were the, the aggressive team, and and even in saying that, I, I still thought for the most part in the first half we were we we're unfortunate to go in, you know, behind on the scoreboard. I thought we were pretty good the first half, but we just, you know, we found ourselves behind on the scoreboard, and and I thought we looked like we were a team chasing our tail, and we, you know, we, we panicked too much, and we didn't quite compose ourselves. We got ourselves into positions to really put them to bed and take. A, take the opportunities that were there for us, but we just didn't quite have the composure to, to put it to bed, and we needed to do that. We needed to have a, a little bit more steel about us. So credit to, to, the, to the opposition. They, they made us camp down our half right from, from the start of the kickoff, from the start of the second half with that kickoff. We didn't quite handle it as, as well as we should, and I thought from then on we were, we were really trying hard to get out of our end. We got down there a couple of times, but like I say, we didn't quite convert those into, into points.